dear scholars welcome you all to english grammar class the topic for today's class is tenses in today's class we are going to study about what is a tense how does a tense differ from a verb and different types of tenses we are going to study about the types of sentences in this class we will be covering about simple tenses so let's begin dear children let us see what is a difference between a verb and a tense a verb is a word that expresses an action or an event whereas a tense tells us about the time of the action or the event had occurred there's a very small difference between a tense and a verb a verb is an action whereas the tense tells us the time when the action or the event has occurred now children the types of tenses there are mainly three kinds of tenses you can say there are three friends present past and future and these three friends have four children so let's see the types of different tenses present past and future present tense has simple present present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous same way goes in the past tense simple past past continuous past perfect past continuous and same way in the future tense we have simple future future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous tense so we see here that the three friends present past and future they all have four four children so in all there are 12 tenses the tenses are 12 in number always remember this children in today's class we are only going to cover the simple tenses we are only going to cover the simple tenses they are going to be simple present simple past and simple future so let's begin with simple present tense what is a simple present tense simple present tense usually expresses routine actions and habits for example my father goes for a morning walk it is a routine action that my father goes for a morning walk regularly the next example here you can see i walk to school every day so this shows the repeated action that daily you are walking to school so simple present tense expresses routine actions and habits then again it expresses or states general truth or universal facts it states the general truth or universal facts for example flowers bloom in spring children this is a universal fact that flowers bloom in spring in spring the earth revolves round the sun again this is also a universal fact which cannot be changed then another example you can see a teacher teaches us english this is a general fact that yes teacher teaches us english so we can see the simple present tenses they express the routine action or habits or the universal truth or facts or general facts now it's very important to study about the structure of each tense so the structure of simple present tense which you need to keep in mind is we use the base form of the verb we add s or es to the base form of verb fine children i'll repeat the structure we use the base form of the verb we add s and es 
to the base form of the verb. Next comes the simple past tense. Simple past tense expresses any action that happened in the past and is over now. I repeat, the action happened in the past and is over now. For example, the old man planted a mango tree. Children, be careful here. This is a past activity. You can see the old man planted a mango tree. So, it is showing that action has happened in the past and is over now. To express a past habit, any past habit, he often visited his friend's house. This is a past habit. Again, I will give you one more example of the past activity. The thief robbed an old man. So, this activity or this action happened in the past. So, past tense is usually used to express the past habit or any activity which was or which had occurred in the past and is still going on. Fine children, the same way comes the structure of simple past tense. We will go through it. Add D or ED to the base form of verb. Example, dance, danced, play, played. Or the second rule is change the spelling. Somewhere, sometimes we have to change the spellings of irregular verbs. I repeat again children, the spelling only will be changed of irregular verbs. For example, run becomes ran, fight becomes fought and eat becomes ate. So, I hope simple past tense is also clear to you children. The third simple tense is simple future tense. The very easy tense. Some action which is yet to take place. The action hasn't taken place. Simple future tense. Simple future form of verb is used to express actions yet to take place. For example, we shall visit Taj Mahal next month. The school will remain closed on Monday. Again the structure. What is the structure of simple future tense? A very simple tense. It is structure of the simple future. We use the helping verb will or shall before the base form of verb. So what is the structure of simple future tense? We use will or shall before the base form of verb. I hope children, it's very clear what we study just now was only the simple tenses. We had only studied simple tenses. Simple present, simple past and simple future. Now let's quickly have a quick summary of what we did today or what we read today or what we understood today. So here you can see a lovely boy, a beautiful boy, he's smiling. Now let's have a quick summary. Simple present. Routine actions, routine habits, general universal truths and ES and S. Simple past, the past activity, past habit, ED and D added. Simple future, action yet to happen and add will or shall. I hope dear scholars, simple tenses is clear to you. In the next class, we are going to do the continuous tenses. So stay tuned for the next class of continuous tenses. Till then, stay blessed, stay happy. Stay happy. Thank you.